The Celtics strutting through the tunnel earlier on. The Boston faithful waiting to cheer them off as they get set to take the floor. Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. That's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. Hey, Brent, tonight we got a terrific matchup in the backcourt. Let's rewind here a little bit, go back to when you played. Who were some of the guards you really enjoyed playing against? What if I start with the list of the guys, Kevin, I didn't enjoy playing against? If I named Allen Iverson, Mitch Richmond, oh, and of course, Michael Jordan. Not the funnest nights at work, if you get my drift, but I did love playing one John Barry. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Collins and Capella man the post position. The guard pair, the talented Young and Murray. And it's Hunter in at the three, the small forward. And for Boston. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Smart in at the point. Now, here is Young. Capella with the bucket. It's a nice pick and roll there. Capella slicing with purpose after he sets the screen and ready for the ball. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Now, Hunter. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. To the paint, here's Capella. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Horford. And one thing I love about Clint Capella, he is a guy who plays to his strengths, especially with how he attacks the backboard. I think on both sides of the floor, Greg, he understands the value of just getting possession of the ball. So get a defensive rebound, help start the break. Get an offensive rebound and pick up some scrap points. Those things add up over time. That one is off. And one thing, Greg, we know Capella has always done. He plays to his strengths. It's a great point, Kevin. Capella knows where he's best and, and really focuses on that. Can help the team with minimal touches on offense, but he really anchors a defense by not overextending. He doesn't get the second one. In this offensive system, Brent, that the Hawks run, it allows for a lot of creativity. Yeah, lots of dribble handoffs at the top of the key. You obviously have the, the case of emergency break glass player in Trey Young. But uh, they're not afraid to attack mismatches, and this is the type of offenses that I think a lot of players would enjoy playing. Now, here's Brown, following the miss by DeJounte Murray. Here's Tatum. Here's Williams, and he lays it straight in. And, and you know, it took them a while to get going, but they finally connected now on their fourth shot of the game. Passes to Young. Here's Capella. Williams with the block. A, a main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Let's it go from 11. That one a little long. The Celtics have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Tatum passes to Williams, and it's Williams finishing it off. Unselfish play by Tatum, getting it to a shooter in rhythm instead of chasing his own shot. Cowan setting the big for Young. Down low, deflects the pass. Smart against Young. And slam dunk by Tatum. 
What an athletic move by Tatum going up like nothing could stop him. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team but hate to play against. Yeah. And teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Scala, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Jason Tatum. And Derek White subbed in for Smart. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Okongwu's checked in for Clint Capella. Johnson comes in for John Collins. Bays checked in for Hunter. And it's Bogdanovich in for DeJounte Murray. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the first. Spins, and there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Bogdanovich. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And you know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Bay against Brown. Shot clock at five. The train. No good on that one. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Celtics out in front, up two. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. been a pretty even game through the first quarter and what do you guys think about Boston here in this one well this is the edge that great rim protection can give you yeah you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back And so White will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, I felt like they attacked, but with a purpose. They knew what they wanted to accomplish coming in. Yeah, and talking with the coaching staff, they said in that game, they did a great job of not settling. Keep working the ball around, finding the best look. Let's see if they can keep that up. On the court for Atlanta, Young and Bogdanovich are their guards. Johnson is up there with Bay. And it's Okongwu in at the center, filling out the middle. And a new group in for the Celtics. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Mike Muscala. Horford comes in for Williams. Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for White. Then for the Hawks, Collins checked in for Johnson. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Sadiq Bey. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Now here's Murray. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. That gives them the lead. And Brent, you were a pretty versatile player. Which of your skills was the most difficult to master? Well, I think going inside and, and finishing, you know, going in over 
big physical guys who could either block your shot or you know, send you to the deck pretty quick. So going in and having confidence to finish around the basket is, is certainly a skill. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now, here is Young. He had 25 points last game. Collins dishes to Young. Shot clock at six. Another three for Atlanta. Young knows his range to answer his opponent. Austin's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Tatum passes to Smart. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. And that was the Mobile One Drive. Well worth a second look. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Thanks very much. Now, Malcolm Brogdon said in pre-draft interviews, teams would ask him, you went to college for four years and got your master's in your fifth year. Are you sure you want to be an NBA player? It seems as if you're black, you can't be both educated and a sportsman. But it's not disheartening. It's a chance for me to break the mold. Kevin? Thanks, D.A. And here's Young to Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Rockin' finds Smart. Williams, a screen on Young. Smart with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. The Hawks leading. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. With some arc, and it's laid up and in by Young. Young's got 11 points. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Austin's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Here's Tatum. Hunter grabs the miss. He's again fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, the game's four quarters, and after a tough first half, he's found his rhythm in the second. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the game. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. What's up? Jason Tatum at the line, shooting one. Surveying the D. Outside Bogdanovich. No good on the triple. What a performance from Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Celtics. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Gwen, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. We'll be back for the third quarter of basketball for we have time. Hey there, everybody. Jason Tatum has put his stamp on this game, looking so dominant so far. Shooting at an incredible rate. Man, he's making all the right choices, forcing the defense to find him each trip down the floor. Yeah, in this case, the numbers do tell the story. Okay, now we've got some time to take a look at the Eastern Conference standings as the postseason comes into view. You look at the Celtics, they've been phenomenal. All the lofty predictions, the expectations, 
They've all come true. Now comes the hardest part in the postseason. Every team is going to be gunning for them. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the five down low. That's the Boston five. And Brown is just a physical beast, especially inside where he gets whatever he wants. The Hawks trailer. And many thought Horford's days were over after his OKC stand but showed he can still be a difference maker in Boston. And boy, was he a huge part of their finals run. Now, here's Collins. He's been a reliable scorer for him as he's averaging up over 13 points a game. Young, no good. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for Boston. Outside, Horford. Pass to Tatum. From past the arc, they get the rebound. Brown, good. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Here's Young following the basket by Jalen Brown. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Horford may not be as consistent as he once was, but Greg, he shows up when you need him the most. You know, he had several big games for the Celtics in the postseason. Great shooter who can really space the court for you. Still also a top-level defender at the rim, and he helped define their interior defense. And that one falls for Young. One of the truly elite offensive players in the NBA, Trey Young can carry a team and more with that shooting and playmaking. Austin making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. He hits both from the strike. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Smart on the wing. Collins grabs the miss. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Young, no good. I'm shocked that it didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Brown against Murray. And it's Brown missing. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And it's good for two. Young working hard on the defensive end that time. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Murray against Brown. 52 seconds left in the third. Smart, wide open, he fires. And another miss by Boston. Young with the ball. Picked up by Brown. Young taking his time here. Williams with the block. Out of bounds, Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Hawks ball. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. Atlanta also making some changes here. Okongwu's checked in for Clint Capella. And it's Johnson in for Collins.
a touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Round against Murray. Six to shoot. Round outside. He's off on that one. And we wrap up the third and looking to be an exciting fourth quarter. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. A chance now to hear Coach Quinn Snyder talking to his team moments ago in the huddle. Everybody keeps shooting the ball. All right? Jumpers will go. All right? they, they come in flurries. They miss a couple, they make a couple, all of a sudden, bam, bam. On to keep it fast and lose. Quinn Snyder asking his guys to stay aggressive on offense. And you have to take the shots that the system is designed to create. If you don't, everybody gets bogged down, and that creates much bigger problem. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure back basketball. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. We've got Griffin. Sadiq Bey is out there with Johnson. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Okongwu in at the center position. Here's Tatum after the basket by Onyeka Okongwu. And White kicks to Muscala. And here's Tatum for three. And it goes for the fifth time in ten shots for him this game. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Atlanta's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Griffin dishes to Bogdanovich. Johnson sets the screen for Bogdanovich. Baseline jumper connects the jumper drops. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the night. And this is the effort you want to see out of your guys, win or lose. A great example out here of just a, a no quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. It's a one point game. One thirty six left to play in the final quarter. Bogdanovich with it. Williams picks him up. And Okongwu slams it in. Well, Bogdanovich would prefer to shoot it, but teammates so wide open had to give it up. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by three. 127 left in the fourth quarter. Robert Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Pritchard. Atlanta also making some changes here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Collins comes in for Johnson. Young is subbed in for Griffin. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olin. David? Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He really got after him. He said, look, you can rest after the game. you got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Thank you, David. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. The rebound by the Celtics. 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. White, wide open. He fights. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Bogdanovich with it. Williams picks him up. Bay passes to Capella. Outside Collin. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Guarded by Tatum. Rebound by Williams. No room for them to make a mistake here. You gotta almost play perfect from here on out. Yes! That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Atlanta calls timeout. They're ahead by one. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Celtics. Al Horford is checked in for Williams. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Derek White. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Atlanta. 
DeJounte Murray comes in for Bogdanovich. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get him to the penalty. Yeah, he, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. And now they decide to foul intentional. First one drops, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good. We're both at the line, and it's a three-point game. And the perfect time to be perfect at the line. Only a three can tie it now. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by three. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Round kicks to Tatum. Three-pointer. He's off from three. And now they foul and stop the clock. the first and that gives them a four point cushion so it gets them both and it's a five point game now that'll ice it right there not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation again the miss by the Celtics and that's an intentional foul Personal foul, fourth team foul. Shooting for Atlanta, Clint Capella at the line for two. Shoot two. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so much reliance for this team on Capella and his grittiness to do the little things on the inside. They love that work ethic. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. And so the Hawks take the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thank you very much, guys. Trey, what does a win like this mean in terms of where this team is heading? I think we're heading in the right direction. Uh, I'm super excited about the future here in Atlanta, the future in this team, and I mean, we're heading in the right direction. Certainly looks like it, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge.
This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Trey Young.